So the world of AI is awesome, guys. And scrolling through the internet, I ran across this website called Styler. So that's S T Y L A R dot A I. Styler. It is awesome, guys. It is awesome. So check this out. First of all, you met with the screen. It's a straightforward layout. Everything is just right there. You have your uh, profile over here. You have your credits. I believe you start out with 200 credits and those credits um, refurbish or replenish every week. I believe it's once a week. Let me double check to make sure. So that is good. Now, here's your projects listed right here and click on new project and there you are. So you have your canvas here. You have your styler assistant. And uh, if you need assistance, of course, just click on the yellow S and you're good. Your layers panel is right here and you have your other options over here. Now you can grab the hand grip or you can. This is your move tool or, of course, your text tool. So you can actually get in here and create your own designs, which I think is pretty awesome. But today we're going to go ahead and try to get an image as close as possible. Now, I've messed with this before, and it does a fantastic job. Let's see if it can duplicate it. So we'll pull in this little character I created. We call him Skitch. Now, the interesting thing about Skitch is, is he's really just a parody of a Bart Simpson character. Okay, So Skitch is befitting. Okay, so let's just go ahead and to image to image. And no prompts are... Uh, available right now but you can type one in or you can click up here for auto prompt now let's see what it does click stylerize now this is underneath the realistic option and it has a plethora of options by the way all right I can see that I can see that Okay, that's good. Okay, now let's try to, let's try it one more time and then we'll create a prompt ourselves. Hit stylerize again. Let's see what it looks like. Okay. I can see it. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. So let's just go ahead and put in a prompt here. Hit stylerize again. Oh, uh oh. Oh no, outside of the arms. Nailed it. Nailed it. This one nailed it. Oh wow. You can always do some touch-ups in Photoshop though so let's see let's try dreamy 3d and see what that comes up with hit stylerize all right guys let's try realistic one more time or a couple more times There we go. Let's see. There we go, guys. That's that'll do it. Now, of course, I'll just take those spikes off his backpack and it's good to go. Now, I would say that's a that's a very, very close representation of what sketch would look like. That's awesome. Now, of course, what we'll do, we'll definitely save in this one. There's a maybe another one that I. I think this one would work.
that one would work. I think that one would work as well. We we'll maybe need to fix the eyes on that one. Okay, this one's fine. And that's it. Now let's place these on the canvas. All of the pictures here. Hit export. Export all files. That's eight pics. Export it. It's a done deal. Now let's save this here. We can call this Sketch. 3D A, I guess. Hit apply. That's done. Go back to home. If you want to start another project, and there you go. So that, my friend, is awesome. The world of AI is changing things. You know, to see your projects come to life, that's an awesome thing. That's an awesome thing. So I believe that's a good stopping place for this video here. If you found this video useful, make sure to comment, like, subscribe, share, do all that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.